Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I wanted to talk about some of my favorite audiobooks. I asked you guys over on Twitter if there was anything you really wanted to see and someone suggested that we do audiobook recommendations and I thought that was a great idea because I don't think I've ever done, like out of my 500 videos or something, which is ridiculous, I don't think I've done a video on audiobooks. So we're gonna do it today. Talk about some of my favorite audiobooks and then like my all-time favorite audiobook. Uh, get the So just some like basic things to get out of the way. I typically use Hoopla, uh, which is like run through my library. You can also use Libby. Um, I don't really use Audible. Well, Audible. <laughs> I usually don't use Audible. I've never, actually I've used Audible once, but like it's not something that I would use. I used to use Scribd. However, some people, it's supposed to be unlimited, but they do cap it. Uh, some people said they never got the cap, um, so I don't know if it's like a five book cap, but some people got that and some people didn't. So I'm the one, one of those people who had like a limited um, selection of audiobooks, so that that's why I just stopped using Scribd. But it's still like not a bad service, it's actually a good price. But I just get my audiobooks for free uh, <laughs> through my library. So let's talk about uh, some of my favorites. Here I want to talk about Be Not Far From Me by Minnie McGuinness. This is a wilderness survival story. I actually have two wilderness survival stories on this list, but this one is about a woman who goes into the woods with her friends and her boyfriend and she discovers that her boyfriend's cheating on her and she kind of goes from there um, and she has to survive. So that's what the story follows. It's kind of gruesome. There is some trigger warnings which I'm going to like start like list those at the top of the screen for those who are, uh, are interested. But yeah, this is a, a pretty I would say it's too brutal, but for like YA, it was pretty. It was pretty good, and I really like Minnie McGinnis's writing style. And again, I listened to the audiobook of this, and I thought it was really good. Another like really good one that's kind of similar is The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon by Stephen King. This is also this is instead of like a teenager, this is like a young child <laughs> that gets lost in the woods. But I have like a really old review on this. If any of you are interested in checking that out. But the audiobook was so good and it's like a short little book too and I like short audiobooks because like I'm not an audiobook, I don't want to say expert, but like I don't listen to the ones that are like 35 hours long. I just can't, I guess. I don't know. Like seven hours is like a good, good pace for me. Um, but yeah, the girl who loved Tom Gordon is so the girl who gets lost in the woods and she has to... Uh, survive and it's a really good audiobook especially if you get the one by Stephen King. I'm pretty sure he narrates his own for this one but if you're interested in these two books they are available in audio format and are both like quick reads and something about like wilderness survival stories like listening to someone's stream of conscious while they're lost and in crisis is interesting. Another Stephen King one here is on writing. So this is his memoir about his experience with writing, his experience with addiction, um, basically just about his life. And this is like absolutely phenomenal. Even if you're not like a writer, um, it's still very insightful and you'll definitely learn something. Uh, the audiobook is great. We have Stephen King on the back, but the audiobook is great and it, he narrates it himself. So it's nice hearing the story of the writer from the writer and then literally hearing them say it to you is, it's an experience. There's little corgis down there. But yeah, this was real good. It was, it's been a little while since I read this. I think I gave it like around a four or five star rating, but I know a lot of people say it's like their top memoir and all of that. But yeah, I think this one is great and it's especially good in audiobook format. Next I have literally anything Neil Gaiman. Like Neil Gaiman is a great writer in general. I haven't read all of his works, but he's a great writer. And his audiobooks, he usually narrates himself, which are also great. So I have a little bundle thing here. So this is the little bundle that I have, but it comes with Coraline, the Graveyard Book, and fortunately, The Milk. Uh, the Graveyard Book and Coraline are phenomenal. Um, I would highly recommend them. They're great to listen to on audiobook. I'll actually take, take them out and show you. Uh, this is Coraline, so what the movie's based off. I would definitely, if you like the movie, I would definitely recommend it. If you don't know what it's about, it's about this girl who kind of goes through a portal to another world. Um, but it's like her world, but it's just sl just slightly, you know, different. Um, and there's some consequences and there's some ni there's a nice cat and it's literally about a brave child. So we love that. Graveyard book is about a boy named Nobody Owens who lives in a graveyard, graveyard and was raised by ghosts. So this one is super cool. Uh, I just really like Neil Gaiman's writing style. And because these are 
more middle grade. They're gonna read super easy and I just, I've really enjoyed both of these. They're both really, really good. I wouldn't like highly recommend, fortunately, the milk or anything, uh, but I just wanted to bring the box set down. But fortunately the milk literally just has like a ton of illustrations. So things with a lot of illustrations, you might just wanna read, you know, physically. But yeah, Coraline and the Graveyard Book are so good. Uh, another fantastic audiobook is The Virgin Suicides by Jeffrey Eugenides. This is a book that I love, that I rave about, but it's basically about the five Lisbon daughters that all commit suicide, and it's about the aftermath of that, and then told by a group of guys that kind of live around the neighborhood and like watch them and experienced, like from an outside perspective, experience them like how people treated them, how they saw them, how other people saw them, and then the concept, like afterwards, after they died, how how they died and all of that stuff. So they tell the story uh, looking back on what happened and it's so good and the writing is so, like the writing is just really, really good. Like the first time I read this book, I remember I wasn't like amazed, but it's when I read it, like I, the first time I read it, I think I gave it like 3.5 or 4 stars, which is still a very good rating for me. However, now that I've read it like 5 or 6 times, it's it's a favorite. So, I highly recommend this one. They have the audiobook's really good. Uh, I've listened to I've read it physically and listened to the audiobook, so two here. So, uh, I would recommend Casey West books on audiobook. I think they're pretty good. Uh, I have PS I like you and Love Life in the List. I actually just listened to Love Life in the List like a week ago. So this one I listened to and like I just really like her stories. They're like fun fluffy romances. This one specifically is about a girl who is trying to get into like an art program and she is crushing on her best friend. Um, she's crushing on her best friend. She's trying to get into an art program and like somebody told her when she submitted her art that she didn't have enough experience like life experience. So she came up with a list of a bunch of things that she needs to do to have those experiences to then make her art better. So I thought this was cool. It was fun. P.S. I Like You is like a cute in-class romance. So like someone writes a note on the desk or like writes lyrics on the desk and then the next person for the next class that goes in there and sits at the same desk writes the lyrics back uh, and that's how they communicate. So it's a very cutesy romance and they don't know who the other person is. And yeah, th these are just, they're just so fun to read. Um, and especially to listen to, they're just super relaxing. I've listened to Love Life in the List while I was doing like other stuff. Like while I was working, I was able to do that and then also have this on in the background and I really enjoyed it. It was, it was a fun time. So my favorite audiobook of all time, it's gotta be Brain on Fire by Susanna Cahalan. I do have this physically, but I don't know where it is. Like I really don't because the shelf goes up a little bit more and then there's some hidden at the bottom and there's two rows at the bottom <laughs> and there's two rows at the top. So even if it's at the top, I would have to get a step stool or like a ladder <laughs> to get up there. But this is not the point. Uh, Brain on Fire is actually a memoir and Susanna Cahalan narrates it herself, which I thought was amazing. This is like the only audiobook that's ever made me cry. Um, I remember I left like there was a, social family setting and I left the room to sit in a dark room and listen to this audiobook. <laughs> it was so so good and the movie's amazing too but it's basically about this girl who works at a publishing company and everything seems to be going kind of normal for her and going good for her. She has a boyfriend, she has a good job, she's friends. Um, but suddenly she gets hit with this illness that they can't identify and you know she's experiencing like hallucinations, delusions, um, so a lot of the time they thought it was schizophrenia and things like that. But as you read the book, I don't want to spoil anything, you kind of learn more and more and you see as not only she goes through all of this shit, but her parents, her friends, her boyfriend, um, and how it all impacts them as well. So it's a true story and it's amazing. And it's, it's a different experience hearing it from the person themselves. So that's what I really like about like a few of these on this list is they're actually narrated by the author which is really nice to see. So there you guys have it. Those are my audiobook recommendations. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any videos that you do want to see from me, definitely let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you all. I hope you're doing well. Hope y'all hope y'all are doing okay. Um, yeah, and if you want to follow me on any other platform, I have all of them linked down below, as well as my Twitch where I've been streaming a lot on. So if you want to hang out or play video games, 
And yeah, I also have a Discord if you want to join that. And I'll see you all super soon.